My name is Luke Malehi. I'm the street inspector for the city of Cape Girardeau. I also assist in the INI inflow and infiltration of the sewer system along with inspections of the flood wall protection. I use a paver system for the street conditions and produce reports at the end of the year. Um, with those reports, it gives a percentage of what streets are good, satisfactory, poor, or severely poor. Uh, we are here at Chesley Drive and Tamar Lane where we are going to go over some conditions of the street and certain distresses. So this is a concrete section of the street that we're going to be taking a look at to show certain distresses. One of the distresses is this crack right here that's called a linear crack. There's a low, medium, and high discrepancy of what this would be. This crack is fairly small, so it would be considered a low linear crack. There's also pop-outs, which are these small divots of where the concrete has chipped out or there has been a rock that has popped out. With all these distresses, there's always a low, a medium, and a high rating for each one that I put in the field inspector to determine the grade. I would say the condition of this section of street would be rated in a poor condition due to the fact of the medium and high distress levels of these slabs. On this section of the street that is concrete, this has little to no distress. These slabs have good joint seal in place. Some of it might be a little aged, which would fall under a low joint seal damage condition. So these slabs in this section would be considered good condition. So we are now on Tamar Street, which is an asphalt road and this is an example of a poor condition for asphalt. You have a lot of alligator cracking, which is all the small sections and chunks of asphalt that have broken up. Then you also have a low-lying area, which is called a depression, and it has sunk down just from weight of vehicles, along with water penetrating the asphalt and getting underneath the subsoil. On this section of this asphalt street, the condition of this area right here would be considered good condition. I have to look at the whole street and pick out an area that is not all good, but that is not all bad. And I have to take a medium section of both good and bad and take that to have a good determination of what the condition of the street is. This is on average the daily routine with my inspections that I do. I basically put my eyes on the street, take the most accurate condition of the street with those sections. There are other distresses that have not been pointed out on these two streets that I do come across, but basically this is the average type of street and condition.